Well, Tuesday morning is here, and it looks like pea soup out there. Here's a look at the foggy conditions in the Green Bay area. Around 4 this morning, it is still foggy. There are advisories, and Pete has more in our severe weather coverage. These are the current visibilities, and you can see 8th mile visibility in Green Bay. Around 0 in Sturgeon Bay, Shono, and Manitowoc, quarter mile visibility is in Appleton. So obviously, no matter where you go, particularly from Brown, Kewanee, and Shono County, areas to the south, the visibilities are very low. And even Door County, as you saw, Sturgeon Bay, visibility is down to near zero. Now, expand the map out, and you can see much of the state is under a dense fog advisory. And this is in effect until 10 o'clock this morning for most of the area. So be aware of that. Now, as you head out this morning, and, of course, I want you to allow yourself some extra time, but uh, you will deal with mild temperatures. It's 30 in Green Bay, 36 in Appleton, 34 in Oshkosh. And here is a picture over the last couple of hours in Oshkosh, where it's 34 degrees. You can see the fog. You can see the dense fog, and the visibility is down to about a quarter mile there. Out in the fog in Appleton is our own Allison Struve, who has this report. Good morning, Allison. Good morning, Pete. Yeah, if you take a look behind me over here on Prospect Avenue, the vehicles seem to just sort of appear out of the haze. You can see a lot of haze around the headlights. So you can imagine how tough it would be to see a stopped vehicle, like, say, a school bus. Um, so definitely please be cautious this morning, especially after last Friday. We all know uh, what happened with that accident on 41. So we were taking it pretty slow on our way down from Green Bay this morning. Pretty tough to see out there. Uh, it's not really patchy fog like it was on Friday. It just seems to be dense everywhere. So hopefully everybody will take it easy, uh, take it slow, put on those low beams, as I know you've said this morning, Pete, and we'll all get to where we're going safely, Pete. Yeah, very true. Thank you very much, Allison. And now things will improve. And as I said, we're starting out mild and we'll end with some very warm temperatures. 42 degrees at 10 o'clock this morning, 45 at 3, mostly cloudy skies, and 43 degrees at 7 o'clock, and then rain from Wednesday all the way through Saturday. I'll have more on that coming up. Right